In Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet we have access to a library where we can find various different books that build a little more of the Pokemon world, like Sonya's book for example, and others that raise a few interesting questions like the culture, a paranormal magazine. But you can also find a tale, the tale of Charcadet's adventures. So hey, I'm not so a strainer and why are the evolutions version exclusive? Let's get into it. Sharkadet, the fire child Pokemon, may have been little, but did that stop it from being a mighty hero? Not one bit. Then there's a bit more to the story, Mean Gengar comes in, catches Sharkadet and then a voice says, two paths lie before you, young Sharkadet, it said, choose between these two sets of armor and assume a new form so you can defeat Gengar. So the Pokemon Cerulege and Armorouge exist, both of them, in the same world. We know that it's in the Pokedex. But you can only find the auspicious armor in Pokemon Scarlet and the malicious armor in Pokemon Violet. Why is that? First of all, let me say that I know version exclusives are a thing. It's not the same time we saw that and it's not the same time we see evolutions being version exclusive. I mean Lunala and Solgaleo were exactly that. And that's gonna be important. But for now, let me just say that I'm trying to find a theory to go along with it. Something to make it more, you know, believable in the Pokemon world. Let's carry on. In a way, this is just a continuation of my theory on the two different realities created by Sada and Turo, and I advise you to watch that video before carrying on with this one since it will make more sense. But not so long story short, Sada and Turo shared the reality and their obsession plus the disc Pokemon's power broke it into two. One where only Sada's obsession persists and thus only what's related to the Scarlet Book and Naranja Academy exists, and on the other one, Turo's obsession reigns supreme and only what's related to the Violet Book and Uva Academy exists. This might be simply because they used power they could not control or so the legendary keeps them in a kind of loop in order to feed from their wishes and fears. Now if you think back to Gen 7, we had something similar with different realities existing and I don't mean just the strange worlds of ultra space where ultra beasts swell, but actually simply the alt world, the place where night and day are different from wherever you are. While the Cosmog you get there will still evolve to your version's legendary, you see the opposing box legendary there, meaning those two realities have two different Pokemon as the reigning legendary, let's call it that. So what does that mean for Cerulege and Armorouge? That means to me that we might be seeing something similar to what we saw in Gen 7 with different realities, paired with something a bit more new like what happens in Area 0 in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. If we're dealing with two realities, like in Sun and Moon, but that were in a way shaped by Sada and Turo's obsession with the book they've loved ever since they were a child, and the game state this very clearly, it means more things they believed in might have made their way into it. So if as a child Sada and Turo read Charcadet's adventures, and when the little fire child was presented with the choice of either the auspicious armor or the malicious armor, they might have chosen differently. They chose what to them was the correct choice and that might have stayed imprinted in their perfect world. Sada thought Charcadet should have chosen the auspicious armor and thus evolve into Armor Rouge, and Turo thought it should have chosen the malicious one and so evolve into Cerulege. And then, in their minds, that this Pokemon can somehow read, see, whatever fits best, Charcadet did just that. And that's all I have for you today, just a simple theory to try and justify the exclusivity of Armor Rouge and the Auspicious Armor and Cerulege and the Malicious Armor. Which begs the question, which one did you pick? Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And now like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and also ring the bell so you know when the next video is out. You can follow me on the social media and Twitch, I stream there Wednesday to Sunday, not Saturday or join our Discord, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.